In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick to make a fractal background in Fusion. This is such a cool way of doing things. Here's what we're making. So this is all created in Fusion. And so we have our text coming in here with the uh, these kind of triangles. And then we have this nice kind of soft triangle abstract background here. This is such an easy technique. And even if you don't have the text on here, I kind of just added the text to have something in the foreground. You could use this background for like anything, man. So useful. My name's Casey. I help content creators make amazing visual effects and motion graphics in Fusion. And we just released the best Fusion course ever. I know that's a huge thing to say, but it is. If you're a content creator looking to get into Fusion and up your skills so you can make motion graphics and visual effects, this course is absolutely perfect for you. It's called Fusion Zero to Hero. There's a link down in the description below. Let's get into the fractal background, shall we? So we're just gonna start out with a blank Fusion composition. You can do that by going to your media pool in DaVinci Resolve and right clicking and saying new Fusion composition. That'll make a Fusion composition here in the media pool. Double click on that and that will open up a blank composition in the Fusion page. Close our media pool, and I'll hide these buttons down here too so we have a little bit more room. And we're gonna start out with just a regular background node. I'll drag that in, take the output of the background and drag it onto the media out. That'll give us a black screen by default. Let's select this background, and instead of the black screen, let's make this kind of a white, so almost white, something like that, like 88% or so, which is technically the perfect white. I don't know if you know that, 0.882, scientifically the best white background color. Now let's work on making some kind of shape here. The backbone of this fractal design that we're gonna make comes from an effect called Mosaic Blur. You can go up to your effects panel under Open Effects, under Resolve Effects Blur, there should be one called Mosaic Blur. I'll drag this down in between our background and our media out, wiggle this and make sure that it's actually connected, and close the effects panel. What Mosaic Blur does is it pixelates things. So if I have some text, let's say, I'll just make some text and merge it over my background by dragging the output of the text over the output of the background like this. Put some text here and change the color, size it up a little bit. You'll see that this mosaic blur pixelates it, right? And you can change all of the different settings like pixel frequency to control how pixely it is. You can adjust the aliasing to control how sharp the edges are. And there are so many things you can do with this, but we want kind of a fractal thing. And you can totally do the same effect with just these square pixels. But here under cell shape, you can do square, hexagon, or triangle. Why don't we try hexagon? This is really cool. Now I have this looking thing and we can just adjust the frequency to give us these nice little shapes. Isn't that cool? So easy. But instead of doing our text, why don't we get rid of our text and we'll use our fast noise. That's the second icon here. Grab this and drag this in and drag the output of that on top of my merge. That'll connect it to the foreground. And now if I hit one on the keyboard and open up my two viewers here, on the left, we'll see our fast noise. And on the right, we'll see the result of what's happening. So let's change the color of this noise over here in the inspector. And here where it's white, I'm just gonna kind of turn a couple of these down so that we have this blue. And we'll see we're already getting a little bit of definition here. But if we change this noise around a little bit, maybe change the scale and change the contrast, we'll really start to see these clouds being more defined. And then as those are rendered over the white background and then blurred with the mosaic blur, we get a really neat looking effect. I think I might actually take this contrast back down because it's messing with some transparency stuff. But that's okay. This will work just fine because we want this to be pretty subtle anyway. So maybe I'll take the scale up a little bit. And what's cool about fast noise is it not only generates these clouds, but you can animate the clouds to move like this. You can either keyframe it with this seethe property, or you can push up the seethe rate and it will automatically animate as you play it back. Push the seethe rate up a little bit. And now it kind of just animates those clouds. And look what's happening over here. We have this kind of abstract looking fractal thing. So maybe we'll take the scale down on our fast noise. That'll make the clouds bigger and we can take the pixel frequency down on our mosaic blur and now look what we have we have this nice kind of motion abstract background and man you can just go crazy with this thing you could add several different kinds of noise and you know several different colors and anything that you want to do and then you just run it through the mosaic blur so you're pretty much just designing some kind of abstract moving background that's going to be enhanced with the mosaic blur so let's take this, uh, let's actually switch this back to triangle because I think I like the triangles a little better. Yeah, that looks nice. And that's cool, let's take this one step further. I'm gonna take another fast noise like this, drag this down and plug this fast noise into the mask input of this other fast noise and look what happens. As I do that, we're gonna take these clouds and we're gonna use these clouds to mask, to kind of cut out these clouds. 
which is going to give us even more variation. So if I turn off my mosaic blur, we'll see what happens. We have our clouds full, but then we're kind of cutting that out with another layer of clouds. And we can also see those. And we could do something like make these clouds totally different sizes and maybe change the contrast or something of these mask clouds. So meh, let's say mask FN for fast noise. This is gonna be like color FN for fast noise. And now we're just kind of changing what those shapes look like and building this in a modular way. Then we can take this mosaic blur and put that on there. And we have a really cool kind of mosaic background here. Oh, so neat. So easy too. Look at this. This is like three nodes. And man, can you imagine animating this by hand or something? Ugh. We can kind of play with the scale of the mask and the color to give us a lot of different variety. Now this is a little bit more active change the seed rate of things. And all of that kind of changes that over time. We could take either the color or the mask and animate the center of it. And that would kind of change what that looks like. And I think I'll just take this whole thing and just blend it down a little bit. Take this merge and take the blend down, which is like the opacity of the layer. And I'll just push this up a little. So it's just kind of barely happening in the background. And now we have this nice subtle mosaic background that we can put just about anything over. I mean, it's abstract enough that, you know, you could put this in a corporate video or you could put it in a vlog you can put it anywhere you want and it's going to feel pretty appropriate right you could change the colors you could even take this and make it into a really easy generator like a background generator for the edit page if you want to learn how to do that let me know and i'll make a video on making this into a template but yeah that's neat then we can either put this in the edit page and put text over it or we could just put text over it here make this kind of a dark green maybe yeah it's cool and we could do a similar thing to the text we could take this mosaic blur and just copy and paste it onto the text and just kind of change its frequency a little bit and we could kind of animate this to reveal the text you know so maybe at the beginning we'll have this we'll have this pixel frequency down a lot something like that maybe and then as this kind of goes in you can push up that frequency and yeah it's a pretty cool little effect and you can keyframe that however you want but that's basically the idea is using that mosaic blur and putting that over various shapes to make our abstract motion background. So I hope this is some inspiration for any of you aspiring motion graphics artists out there. Such an easy thing to do in Fusion and uh, looks great, man. Hey, if you're ready to jump in and get serious about Fusion, check out our Fusion Zero to Hero course. There's a link to it in the description or you can click right here. And yeah, stay tuned because we got lots and lots more Fusion goodies on the way. I just am, I'm just glad you're along for the ride.